Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we got the new uh, gameplay trailer for Apex Legends Season 17 Arsenal. We'll have our first impressions view through, and then we'll we'll go back and break it down. Let's have a look. Here we go. Disgraced champion. Excommunicated father. Forgotten icon. Will this old dog triumph and return what is a legend? This? Or will his competitors' new tricks prove too much to handle? It's time these worlds remembered the name. Is this the new Lucas training facility? Richman. Oh, it looks like the new fire range. It's like a gold car. You need to hit the range more. Oh my gosh. Did you forget who I am? This is gameplay in the museum life. Weapon mastery. Okay. So you'll get badges. Oh, we're gonna have to break this all down. A lot of wall bounce? Not today. Where is your dignity? Uh mobile. Mobile re uh, balloon? Oh, and it can be destroyed. So much to break down here. Be glad you didn't meet me in my youth. Looks like a five stack. Maybe? You are beaten. Looking for me. Right. Here's Ballista. Here I am. On a 1v1. I give a wing of my estate for a worthy opponent. What is my telling me now? What? All right, let's let's Disgraced have a breakdown on champion. this. Excommunicated father, forgotten icon. Will this? All right, let's go back and I want to see what this is here. I want to get a good like first look. Where is this? Okay, so this. Holy smokes. So this is the firing range, right? This is like the old kind of ish. Like you kind of slide down here. Oh my gosh. So you're going to have like your basic firing range. You're going to have all these little POIs to kind of play off, play off these areas. A bunch of different looks for like so an agility course. And then like there's so much stuff to take in here. Obviously, you have your charge towers, you have your dummies here. Uh you can get into different buildings. So this is gonna be really, really cool and dynamic to be able to take and bring people into this area. Uh, do 1v1s, uh, work on angles, height, uh, height, deploys, um, different areas to kind of learn how to jump in, in and get through uh, unique ways to get into buildings, exteriors, take angles. Dude, this is wild. I love this. This is wild. Um absolutely needed absolutely needed so they're completely overhauled layout so the fire range has been completely redesigned with one core idea in mind flow we have expanded the space to give you more room to play from a reorganized core to a new agility course dual pit and poi sized town this new space is built from the ground up for skill express uh, expression and skill development. So the core, uh, core is a reorganized weapons loot layout, 
uh, that allows players to find what they're looking for quickly and efficiently. Simulated death boxes allow you to grab your favorite loot from anywhere on the range. Oh, that's really cool. So like for someone that might be learning like mouse and key that isn't familiar to like sort of the movement mechanics, or if you're trying to quickly learn how to hot swap, that can be something that you're looking to like a controller can jump and enter in as you jump in. Um, if you're a mouse and key, you can move and kind of jump around and, and being able to play with that. Like you, that's awesome. That's really cool. And I think that also ups the level of desirability for the um, input change. Right. So anyone that's making that switch from console to PC doesn't really have to worry about or getting frustrated with uh, having to learn those micro mechanics while getting shot at and, and whatnot. This is something that you can do at your leisure so you can sort of familiarize with the keybinds and whatnot that you that you choose um, with with your freedom. And you can create the hesitancy that you want, because obviously the, 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 the dumb, um, dummies can shoot back. So this is this is really cool. Uh, agility core, so designed for mobility, slide jump, uh, slide zip, jump, climb, and balance to harden your movement skills. All right. So like this is ultimately like where you enter in, just like any other, um, like the current firing range. Interesting. The dual pit, so designed for you to duke it out with friends and finally settle the debate on who's the fastest wingman in the <laughs> in the outlands so this is really cool so you have a bunch of different areas to play because you're going to be in the pit there's really going to be no uh you get a lot of people who kind of climb around and in and, and whatnot but um as someone who does play in the range a lot and, and kind of mess around with my own skills this is this is awesome um i i love this idea so training grounds in the rear town allows you to practice fighting in a simulated combat experience. Okay. So this does sort of remind me a little bit. My initial instinct here is like, um, is barometer, like what you kind of find playing like control and barometer. Um, there's a lot of these little areas of like height and, and whatnot. I mean, you, you kind of play those POIs anywhere. Um, but this is, this is really cool. So to this in, initial look, um, but this is very interesting in order to be able to get these guys to, um, to shoot at you. You can learn cover, you can learn peak cover, you can learn, um, where to take height, um, and, and whatnot and, and, and getting those head glitches. This is really cool. And I think this is far more dynamic than what anyone sort of initially will think. I, I really do think this ups everybody's sort of play level. Um, if they choose to use it, I think that's going to be the big thing is whether or not they choose to use this. Uh, customizable dummies. Dummies can be configured to spawn, move, and shoot players in a variety of ways. Change the settings to find the experience that best serves your need. Turn on full combat mode to have the dummies come to life and aggressively attack you all over the firing range. Um, improved targets. So... Uh, Infinitely shootable targets will light up different colors to give you feedback on where you hit them. Turn on hit markers and the custom range settings and learn shooting patterns in a myriad of available weapons. Interesting. Improved dynamic stats. So dynamic stacks track your performance in real time and now manually reset uh, so you can use it in the manner that you wish. Uh, this is pretty awesome. Dog triumph oh. and return a legend? Or will his competitors' new tricks prove too much to handle? It's time these worlds remembered the name. August Brinkman. That Pathfinder skin. So this is World's Edge. They're calling it World's Edge. Uh, it's healing itself, right? So this is where... This is Fragment East. So it's like healing itself. Uh, the bridge looks like it's back. They've finished up five stacks. So there's really no, it's not like a fully open construction building. Uh, you have, uh, I think this, no, this was market. So they've kind of pushed things all over the place. You get the museum here. They 
um, rebuilt the the train. You have a bit of construction here, so you're basically not going over, the, like you're not breaking up. Oh, well, I guess you're, there is that lava there. So this was capital city, and then it became became Fragment East. Um, so you're seeing like what it what it kind of looks like today. And then this is what it's going to look like. All right. So they're kind of expanding it out a little bit um, into the lava. So they're kind of building, they're building out lava. They kind of rebuilt the, the bridge here to go over. So there's actually playable area underneath lava to the right here. Um, and they knocked out, they knocked out this building interesting so you're gonna have a little bit more of an open area so it's not going to be a you know an, an easy rotate to be on the back side of fragment to come in oh and they took out i mean it looks like they took out market completely or they kind of replayed it and they, they they're calling it tower now so this is this is like the tower is the monument or our monument is what they're calling it rather um is what market was right so and then you have this sort of concourse area which was like right in the middle of of the lava so instead of you know instead of having these sort of two areas that you can get shot from basically every which angle uh i mean you're still out in the open but it's kind of kind of a cool feature um bringing it over you have monument uh so they've kind of cleaned up this broken building a little bit. Uh, it's still more of a, like a construction area. So it almost like an, feels like kind of a nod back to old Cap City right here. Uh, you Obviously, they rebuilt uh, the bridge to, uh, to come through into deeper into Fragment. Um, and then, yeah, man, this is... This is really cool. Uh, you, I mean, you see the 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 POIs, so the broken building back here. Uh, they got they got rid of all of this actually. So these all these buildings are gone, and it's now one big, uh, big area. I guess that building is still there. Yeah, that building is still there. So, uh, pretty cool. I I like this. So this is kind of a different angle look at. Uh, monument so there so it looks like you can see through so it kind of is underground but then you can see through so i guess you know if you're if you're dealing with rotations or you know being able to play different heights um you're going to be able to see what action is going in under there um going to help like there's no one that's going to ultimately be ratting or anything so if this is going to be i assume it's going to be a ranked map uh, most changed maps are uh, so that's going to be a pretty interesting dynamic. You're going to be able to see a fight, um, get in there in, in third party as well. Uh, if, so you can see sort of what's happening as you go in that rotate, uh, which is which is good. Uh, Thunderdome area. You got some, some bins here. So this is the inside looking up. So exactly that. What I was explaining is the sort of glass area that you can look down on. This is the same view from the other side. So, I mean, the good thing is, too, if you're if you're kind of in here, you can know if a team is going to third party. Because they're as they rotate, you're going to be able to get sort of these areas, especially also when you're talking about like hot dropping early in, in the game in pubs and whatnot. Um, you're not really going to be surprised by the fact that there's teams dropping on you or or what have you. Uh, now introducing stacks into our new POI uh, on the southern edge. So this is uh, Lava City. Lava City, you have a uh, big mod over here. Uh, let's see how this is what it currently is. And I apologize for my horrible, my horrible reading right now. Um, I just want to get to these these pieces because these changes are crazy awesome. All right, so it looks like Big, Big Mod is still there. Um, they're not really changing much on Big Mod. Um, they got rid of the train station, it looks like. Yeah. 
It looks like they got rid of train station. They brought construction over to, to this area. That's interesting. So this looks more like a completely redeveloped POI. They're not keeping anything, not keeping anything unless dome, unless dome is behind these buildings. Now they, they likely got rid of dome. I mean, it, they could be behind the building still. Um, but like construction, I mean, I, honestly, like I could, I, I don't mind construction, you know, in five stack and whatnot. Uh, I think this is interesting. I think it does spread out the, the landing spots. I think those people that were really into it, they're right. Uh, it's still there. It's just in a different, different POI. So, um, you know, personally, I never thought the loop pool there was all that great, especially for the amount of people that were dropping. Uh, but this could be an interesting dynamic because you can have multiple areas, um, uh, to drop, whether it's mods on a rotate, you can do, you know, these buildings, you can land in here. There's, it looks like there's some areas, uh, underneath. Uh, so I think this can hold uh, a few squads. Um, you just got to be careful because there are definitely POIs that can quickly rotate in if there's a lot of activity. Um, especially now you, you're still going to have big mods that's going to have like the rampart weapons uh, and, and stuff like that too. So the, those getting into this, this POI and coming in with people who are fighting with limited ammo or limited attachments, you're going to have a, a, you know, an instant push uh, in that sense. So uh, I do like the idea of spreading out the POIs. Um, I think this is going to be uh, a unique, uh, a, a unique place. Uh, be interesting to see what type of, uh, percentage actually lands here. Having these two, I mean, they're kind of sub POIs, um, playing with each other that are going to kind of play back and forth. And uh, whoever can get out of their POI faster is going to have that easy, uh, that easy rotate to get in and and take other take another fight. Okay, so we know in areas that when you drop them lava, that you, you take damage. Um, so in fragment where you could kind of float up or whatever. So now you're not floating up anymore. Um, you are actually taking damage, right? So these are this was crossing uh frag right now you're now it's raised up um and you, if you fall in here you're not going to be able to fly up you're going to take damage to, while you try to climb up or if you're a movement legend that's uh that's interesting uh all right so they threw like a they threw a, a platform and then you can zip to the platform I'm not sure why you would want to uh, land on this spot. It, it looks like it's just a, a clear line of sight, unless this area here is uh, just guaranteed uh, gold tier uh, loot. Because, you know, ultimately you're kind of putting yourself at a disadvantage instantly uh, compared to who might be landing in, in the other, other areas here. Uh, but an interesting change. It definitely was needed. I, so we've added an additional vault for balanced vault distribution. The north vault is nestled in a tunnel leading to Skyhook. The vault key drops have been increased. So vault loot has been relaxed. Loba mains rejoice. Interesting. Snow in Skyhook. So Hammond's climatizer technology has made advances in cooling the region down. Additional climate seating towers has been installed near Skyhook um, to, uh, to further their efforts. As a result, Skyhook has received a fresh dusting of snow, uh, opening new pathways and injecting some new life into that area. Interesting. Uh, Mar 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 Mirage Trois. So this party POI has left the previous has left the previous season's maps and now settled in World's Edge. So we're not going to see Mirage de Trois on any other map other than World's Edge. Interesting. 
Beware, for I so let's see if we can get a good look at the path Beware. of skin here. Eh. It's all right. That's more of like an epic skin. For I am fearless. Ballistic. Rain dust dates. Knock, knock. You need to hit the range more. Let's see if we can get a good look at uh, that car. It looks like it's a car skin for that the ballistics can come in with. All right, so weapon mastery. Weapon mastery, you're going to be able to get badges. Uh, you'll get badges. You'll get trackers. Uh, and then... So damage done and caught and kills. You'll get a multi-level badge. You'll get uh, uh, apex packs, and then um, that looks like you know a, a backdrop or whatever. That's pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. So weapon mastery. Weapon mastery. Uh, weapon mastery is our first new long-term progression system outside of the count level. So as we look to make Apex Legends more approachable for new players, this system incentivizes them to learn about the strengths and character of all your weapons. The goal here was to deepen the player engagement across the board, regardless of who you mean and which mode you prefer. So when the feature launches, all players will start every weapon at level one and can start progressing their weapon levels by using them in any game mode. These levels are account wide and do not reset with seasons. Having a weapon in hand, dealing damage, securing kills and fighting with style will all generate weapon XP for that weapon. Every 20 levels, a weapon specific trial will unlock for you to test your skill with that weapon and reward you for completion. Get your weapon level 100 and finish all five trials to fully, quote, master that weapon and earn the final rewards. Each weapon mastery track will earn players weapon-specific badges, lifetime performance trackers, legend weapon mastery banner frames, and a guaranteed legendary skin for each weapon. Interesting. So, like, you can obviously have your tracker when you go into the... Like, this looks like the UI, that's like the typical weapon UI that you have. Um, currently... Um, so you have optimal, so uh, down. So he, here are some of the skills. So uh, down an enemy when ADS with optic attachment at attached. So you have to do that five times. Down an enemy 50 meters away with a semi-auto. Um, that's You have to do that 20 times. Um, so there's flexible. So down an enemy with hip fire after dealing damage on the target with ADS. You have to do that 15 times. So um, you complete these and then you'll go into like, like it said, um, that's interesting. Uh, so this looks like uh, a match summary. Uh, so you can actually see all your weapons. You can see all the little stats, tiers. Interesting. Hmm. Now they're adding wall bouncing to the, the trailers. Where's your dignity? Yeah, so this is like um, a balloon. It's it's a you know. So this now you're going to be able part. to deploy a balloon, which can be destroyed uh, to anywhere. So like, think about this. This is going to be going to be interesting. If you deploy that balloon, so say you're running a Valk, you can Valk alt, and then deploy a balloon, and you can get across the map. How's that for rotations? You're going to be able to use the her scan on um, her scan to alt, right? Uh, you'll get across across the map, drop that, and then you'll get another scan to get across the map. So, say if if ring is pulls, you know where you you know further away from where you land, or you get caught into a fight that's in the ring, that's crazy. So like this is my favorite part. This is actually going to be a little bit OP to have. You take a, a heat shield, and then someone has a heat shield, and then has that. 
uh, new survival item, the evac tower. So this is what I was, this is what we kind of stopped with in the uh, range, I mean, in the trailer. So uh, the evac tower is like the port the mobile uh, jump tower, basically. Uh, now means for legends that can traverse dangerous apex games can gain potential advantage over their adversaries. Expect to find the new survival item on the floor inside loot bins and care package. Deploying an evac trail uh, tower will send a rocket skyward, eventually exploding into a balloon high in the action. Once the anchor brings down the zip line to ground level, legends will be able to ride up and take a skyward dive, redeploying to a new a new location. So you can put this wherever you want. This is huge. So be careful though. The evac tower has a limited duration. All right. So it's, oh, and it can take damage. So evac tower has a limited duration and can take damage. Uh, enemies and allies can shoot the balloon. Also uh, accelerate this process, destroying both the evac tower and your hopes of es escaping. Pay attention to where you deploy because your evac may be hotter than anticipated. So, like I said, when the trailer was running, we went through that trailer. This is not going to be, if anything, this is a buff to Valk. Because you can use her scans in flight twice without having to uh, cool down her alt. Because if you kind of play this long rotate, if you land edge of map, say in ranked, you you land edge of map, you pick one of these up, you take it, you fly, she gets her alt, you get her alt, and you can fly again. So get you on the other side of the map into the fights faster. Really, 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 really interesting. If they show the skins here. So you get lifeline. What? Look at Watson. A little edgy little Watson. Gibby? Up here, did you? Mad, He's mad, all right. That emote is pretty cool. Ready yourself. Yeah, this is crazy. The fire range. I'll fight till from my bones my flesh be hacked. There's just so much. So much in the fire range to that's changing. I will not fall today. And that's the gym. Glad you didn't meet me in my youth. Oh, he can dual wheel! So, this is his... Uh, his tactical is like a smart pistol, which debuffs um, and overheats uh, enemies' weapons. Be glad you didn't meet me in my youth. Oh my gosh. So he basically debuffed. So he's he came up on a rotation. This this is wild. <clears throat> he came up on a rotation. Hit Catalyst. So she couldn't shoot him. And then by the time that she could shoot him again, he already knocked two people. Looking for me? Here I am. <sighs> I give a wing of my and one of his... So his passive, and we'll what go through this. His passive, he can like sling uh three weapons uh so his third weapon is a, a zero attachment weapon um but his ultimate will make it ultimately a, like a, a gold so he's a refined gunslinger as we know he he came in uh to keep his son from coming into the games uh his iconic car he calls lady gray for the t uh, we, we saw that he has uh, a unique, he actually had a unique animation um, with the car and it looked like he did have sort of a, a skin to it, which I assume is going to come in. So his abilities, he's an assault class, um, so he can access hidden loot, uh, the red we weapon supply bins, 
and high value weapon attachments. Uh, he can carry an extra stack of ammo uh, in each inventory slot. So that's interesting. Uh, so his tactical ability, they're calling the Whistler. So it shoots a project projectile that heats up an enemy gun as they shoot. Overheating causes damage. So you hold the tactical to lock on. So that is his like um, smart, they're calling it like the smart pistol. Uh, so basically, if you if you get hit, you can choose not to shoot and you don't take damage. Or if you shoot, it will overheat and, and create um, damage to you. So that's kind of something whether or not you want to kind of play around with it. Uh, I, I'm sure it does something with the accuracy during that time of like being overheated as well i assume the time period would be something like what happens if you get hit with like a, a vantage tag or something like that um so there's like a cool down period um so that that'll be interesting the fact that he can dual wield shoot and then go like that's crazy to me so the, i'm like super interested to see how that um interaction will be as far as like what you can choose to do so you must be able to press and hold the tack button um, and then, uh, once you let go, it shoots, you know, so that way you could use, you know, whatever, whatever you, button you're using to shoot, whether it's mouse key or, or controller, uh, passive ability is the sling. Um, so the store a third weapon in the sling access via inventory, your character utility action. Uh, the sling weapon cannot take attachments. So, uh, we kind of alluded to this. So that's an interesting way that, uh, that you get into it. So you would press like down on the D-pad or something like that if you're on controller um, or uh, I believe it's, you know, whatever key bind you have it to for, for mouse and key. Uh, and then you have Tempest, which is the ultimate ability. So when this is activated, nearby teammates get faster reloads, faster unarmed movement speed, a an infinite ammo ballistic sling weapon will be equipped and upgraded to gold. Wow. So if you say your third weapon is like a car, you get a basically like a gold car or you have it as a wingman or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be completely upgraded. That's crazy. That's awesome. I think that's going to be a very, very, very important play uh, if he ever were to be in like a ranked meta. I'm not personally not sure if he is ranked meta at all. Uh, we'd have to sort of see what his abilities are. Uh, in sort of the grand scheme of things, I think the fact that end game he can put infinite bullets, um, and he can come in with a third weapon as well, uh, kind of helps uh, with that. The movement speed on rotations uh, and anything like that. So if you're kind of covering a th to to third party, uh, covering a bit of a distance, uh, I mean there's potential there for sure. So ultimately. What he can do here is whatever that third weapon is, it ultimately becomes like a very super accurate, you know, super accurate weapon. So whatever you choose that to to uh, to be. So that's pretty cool. Let's, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, fam, if you appreciate the content, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all out there.